Hi, I'm Lauren with the Pikes Peak Library District, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some fall-themed mini embroidery charms. So here are some examples of what we're going to be making in today's video. And you can see they're little wooden charms that we have sewn some fall-themed designs on. So before we jump in, there are a couple of supplies that you're going to need. Uh, first up, you're going to need a needle and thread. This is embroidery floss, but any kind of thread should work just fine for this. You'll also want a pair of scissors to cut your thread, and then some kind of charm to sew it on. We're using these little wooden charms, and you can get these at most craft stores, but you could also use fabric like felt or Ada, this kind of uh, embroidery cloth, um, or even cardstock that you punch little holes into. Uh, whatever you're using, we're going to post the templates for these charms um, down in the description. They look like this. And that way you'll be able to trace this onto whatever material you're using if you can't get these charms. Uh, it's also nice to have a pencil just because then you can plan out your design in advance. So once you've got those uh, together, we're ready to jump in and get started. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So our first step is going to be coming up with whichever design we want to use. So if you printed out those templates, you could sketch on there. Or if you're using something like wood or felt that's easy to kind of draw on with a pencil, you could sketch the design directly on here. I'm going to be making this bat design today, so you can see I've just kind of transferred that directly onto the wood with pencil there. And you won't be able to see those lines afterwards because we're going to be sewing over them. But if any bits of pencil ended up sticking through, it's really easy just to erase it right off there. So first things first, go ahead and decide on what design you want to use and figure out what color of thread you'll need. For me, it's just going to be simple black thread. So I went ahead and I cut a length about as long as my arm. Now since this is embroidery floss, it comes in strands of six, and I only really want to be working with three at a time, so I'm just going to separate this, and that way I will have two full length strands ready to go if I run out halfway through and need to switch to a second one. So I'll set one aside and I'll leave one for myself. So this first strand, we're just gonna go ahead and thread directly onto our needle. Now, if you haven't threaded a needle before, there's two ways to do it. One is just you take the thread, you dampen the end a little bit, like with water or spit, and you stick it straight through the eye of the needle. The other way is to use something called a needle threader. And basically the way that works is you poke the needle threader through the eye of the needle instead of the um, thread and then you can put the thread through a much larger hole and that just makes it a lot easier because you don't have to deal with the sometimes very tiny holes in a needle and instead you can just kind of poke it straight on through the needle threader instead. So to show you that, you can see here, we have got our needle threader, right, going through the eye of our needle. And then we've got our thread going through the needle threader, which has a much bigger hole, as you can see. So then we just go ahead and pull the needle threader through the eye. And so once you've pulled it through, just go ahead and remove the needle threader, set it aside, and you will have a threaded needle. Um, so for this, what we're going to be doing is we're not going to be tying any knots at the beginning. We're just going to leave a long tail behind us on the back of our charm. And then when we finish up, we're going to knot it. And I'll show you the back of this earlier bat. And you can see we've tied a knot here at the end. We basically went from one ear all the way around the body, all the way to the back. And then we tied a little knot at the very end, um, tying the whole thing off. So that way we didn't have to tie a bunch of knots throughout, right? I'll show you an example of a pattern I did that had multiple colors. So this was a fall leaf I did. And if you look at the back, you can see I tied two knots, one in orange here and one in red here. So if you're using two colors, all you need to do is just make sure that when you finish using the one, you tie it off, switch to the other, and then tie that one off and both will be secure on your charm. So what you'll do is you'll just make sure you've got a good little tail hanging off on this side so that you don't pull your thread off accidentally while you're going. And then a long body of the thread on this side and we're going to leave a couple inches dangling off the back while we're sewing 
so that um, we can tie a knot at the very end. So let's get started. Okay, so we want to go ahead and get started. I'm going to begin by pushing the needle through the absolute center point of my design, right, which is the middle of these two ears. So I'm going to pull that needle on up, and I'm going to hold the tail with my hand here so that about this much is dangling off so I can tie a knot at the end. And I'm just going to hold that here with my finger while I sew so that it doesn't pull through. And then I'm just going to be following the pencil marks here on my design. So we can see I'm going to go around counterclockwise. There's the next point of the ear. Pull that thread through. Pull it taut. And then now we're going to come up through this next hole underneath. Pull it through and go down in this hole. And you're just going to go all the way around your design like this, coming up through the next hole where you've got your pencil marks and pulling through until you finish your full design. And if your design has multiple colors, you would just go back and tie that knot um, before you switch colors, right? So that you've tied off every individual color you're using. If you're just using one color like me, um, you don't need to do that unless you run out of thread, right? And then you would just tie off when you get low on thread, and you would go ahead and switch back. So I am going to go ahead and take a break, and I'll come back to you when I've finished sewing my way around this bat. All right, now once you have finished sewing around your bat, what you're going to do is you're going to take these two strands and you're just going to go ahead and tie a knot left over right, pull it taut, right over left, pull it taut. And then once you've done that, you're just going to snip off these little excess threads. And once you have finished snipping off your thread, just go ahead and flip it over and you will have your finished design. And now it's good for you to use as a keychain or a necklace or however you'd like to use it. All right, thanks for joining us today. We hope you had fun with this project and we'd love to see what designs you came up with. See you next time.